Hello and welcome back to the outskirts of Terror Hand, which has a merchant on it. And um, well, you know, last time we left on a cliffhanger. Would we let him in or not? Well, the wise emperor has decided we will let him in if he makes it. But we're not gonna go out to the rescue for him, unlike we did for our hot Italian nomad, which uh, got named now, by the way. So let me introduce you to uh, where is. You know, Rick Veenbergen, uh, or as the English would say, Rick Veenbergen. <laughs> uh, well, well, I'll keep it English, but yeah, <laughs> the hot Italian nomad <laughs> became a trendy. <laughs> no, not really, but um, yeah, you know, he was on the list, he was on the top of the list, and he is our newest farmer, so welcome to Terror Hand. Now, I must admit a thing that, um, you know, I read in the, in the comments uh, from Cyber, you know, about a very, very useful link about how mechanics work in this game. Because I never really played around with them, so... But he gave a link to very useful forum thread, which I went on reading, and uh, I felt really like experimenting with it a bit, you know, try and see if I could make like a pump and flood this room. So yeah, I have been like sneakily playing a little bit more of Terror Hand. But um, I also, you know, I learned a few things in that off-screen session that I played. And that is that water mechanics are not really, well, um, let me do, I think the best way to explain how they work is like a Minecraft, you know. Water just flows an X amount of tiles. It's not like, you know, the same numbers and all, but it does behave the same way. So I thought it would be like real liquids where it would just, you know, settle till it's all equaled out and it would just fill up the whole room and just, well, it doesn't do that. So yeah, there's that. And um, well, uh, we also don't need a pump because apparently water drains down through the, well, mud or dirt or, well, soon to be mud. So, yeah, but we still need mechanical stuff. And um, speaking about that, uh, you know, because I also went around uh, with playing with the mechanics, I know that we have a big flaw in our whole mechanics uh, setup. Now, I haven't, you know, I've made a backup of this save, so I reverted back. So we need to make a few changes over here. Like, for example, in the engineer shop, um, we need gearboxes, you know, for our mechanics to work and stuff. But a gearbox requires four gears, yet we're only making two, so that's one thing. <laughs> they're not really helping. Or, well, actually, we're only making one, but we'll make four, because that way we can also make gearboxes. And another thing is that we got these windmill blades here, but this one's from orange wood, and that one's from birch wood. And that's a problem, because y apparently you can't just stick together any windmill uh, windmill blade now they got to be from the exact same material which I didn't know but I know it now so we'll have to set where is it yeah this one we'll have to remove this order and replace it there and then be specific about the type of wood and I guess we'll use birch wood because that's what we're gonna you know we're gonna have a large birch grove anyway so um, yeah we'll put it like this and that way we should be able to make windmills, which are gonna power our well, mechanical contraptions and whatnot. <laughs> Sounds cool, and contraptions and all that. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the plan. Um, now obviously that needs a bit of work. What we also need is... Uh, I'm just gonna set this to ha always have two bars of copper and two bars of tin. So... Because I, I noticed that there are a few recipes that require like two copper bars, so that's why. And um, well, you know, for the rest, and we're also gonna let the merchant in. We're also gonna do this over here, you know, the building. But to let the merchant in, we'll open up the gates. So uh, let's do a quick check, by the way, uh, about you know, well, stuff lying outside. Yeah, there is. There still is. <laughs> it hasn't moved. And, um, oh, actually, coming to think of it, I think I noticed during the editing that I kind of left everything on the suspend, you know? <laughs> so, we should still be good. If I open up the gates, no gnome should rush outside because, yeah, yeah, I think everything's good. So, what we'll do is we'll tell our gnomes to tear down the mud over here. 
and hopefully the merchant will make it because all these mechanics you know that well I have been making off screen I all made them out of copper and that actually made me realize that we need more copper so uh, you lot open up the gates god damn it <laughs> now yeah look he goes doing that straight away and then I'll put you back to training I don't want any sneaky well, goblins or man mans and bears and whatever else coming up here only the merchant so merchant where are you now oh he made it safe he didn't come by any dangerous enemies so it's also the last merchant we're gonna get for this year so yeah that's why I decided to let him in and uh, I'm happy for it because now we can leech some more copper of him which is uh, the one thing that we'll definitely need now yeah they, they won't close this gate straight away because they got all the other building jobs over here to do, but that's alright. I don't think we'll get harassed in the meantime. So, merchant, choose a shop. Yeah, good. Alright. Show me. Wow, and then look at this. <laughs> he got a merchant mustache. <laughs> a blonde one, actually. Um, good, merchant. Show me what you got. Show me what you came with from Sawbrunch, uh, as all your previous merchants. Uh, oh crap, <laughs> I need the, mer the market stall, not the merchant himself. Good. Well then, do we get a discount by now? Because I mean, we're like a big trading partners. I would like it. And we don't. But, ooh nice, look, he does come with a crap load of copper ore. As well as a crap load of tin ore. Wow, look at that, 1400. I remember last time saying that usually they end up with 1200 so yeah that's good it's a lot nice 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 so we'll get a few clay clumps as well you know because <laughs> uh, that's trading money worth material and we need that and uh, we might as well get more mushroom seeds but we'll have to see how much stock we got of things to trade because the uh, last time we traded pretty much everything and we had to you know patch the last few worth up with seeds or values or monies so now we'll have to see wow look at that masterful statue 120 wow we might actually we might as well just trade that i mean it's only one and it is a lot of trades value so we might as well um but where are the statues now ah here they are oh, i think we'll be all right i <laughs> mean we got 75 look at that <laughs> bam <laughs> Yeah, and then, yeah, oh yeah, we got this, we got this, we're gonna get all of it. And uh, let's see, so now we got like 300 or 250 more or so, so we can choose a few other things, like mushroom seeds, taking those. And now we got like another hundreds of worth, so, you know what, if we add like these statues, we got 1900s, we might as well take a few logs i'm thinking here yeah 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 yeah. we're gonna take logs i mean why not all right we we need the, the wood because we're <laughs> i mean we're building floors buildings and so burning it into charcoal so yeah we're relying heavily on the wood but we still got wow <laughs> okay but so maybe this one we won't trade i mean it's uh, worth a lot and it doesn't take up any any space and maybe we can leave this one for next season and uh, maybe five of those I think all right, if I do four we should be yeah look at that good well I got everything I want um, let's give you know seal this deal because uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this come on now wow <laughs> we got so much stuff and crap oh there it is good and that's just wow it's a lot anyway here you got your skull now you can't come back on this deal <laughs> so nor can i but <laughs> well i'm pretty happy with uh, how this turned out good so that's a lot more stuff for us um what we'll do now is we'll we will finish off the farmhouse and all that and then we will start setting up our mushroom farm because uh, you know and the mechanics and all that so yeah let's uh, let's build this
Ooh, actually, <laughs> I kind of forgot about a thing. Last time we also made some bronze gear, which should have... Oh, <laughs> I was afraid this would have happened. Yeah, we made some bronze gear, but they both got like half of it. I mean, let me just see. Madame Hero Squire, what do you got? Yeah, you got a mixed bag of copper and bronze. And the same, you should have like the opposite of that in bronze. Yeah, you do. All right, so yeah, what we need to do is we need to make like another complete set of bronze. And with the trade that we made from the merchant, we should fairly easily be able to do that. Yeah, look at that, we got 100 copper ores and... All right, so um, what we're gonna tell you to do is... Uh, or wait, no, the armor over here. Oh yeah, we also... Yeah. I also need to re re-kit Madame Hero Squire. But first we'll do this. Uh, we'll just craft 19 of... No, crap. <laughs> I need to specify this, of course. Of course. So, um, yeah, craft 19 of these. And that should, you know, make them all in bronze gear. The violence violators of Cobra. So, yeah. Um, but that should keep Cyber busy and um, we'll just continue on building. Alright, we're making nice progress over here, but let's take a look at how Cyber has been doing over here with the whole armor production. So far, if I'm just looking at it, it seems that he has made everything, and we can check that. Oh, <laughs> no he hasn't. Alright, never mind, we'll continue building. Ooh, a wall torch. What? I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't even aware on, of this. And oh, a skull on a pole. Nice. We got new stuff. All right. Well, in that case, um, you know what? We're gonna yeah, we're gonna use these wall torches. Hell yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. We're also gonna use them over there. Damn, man, I didn't even know about that, but yeah, hell yeah, we're gonna build those. That is amazing. Cool, new stuff. New stuff, yeah, I like that. So, how can I rotate these? Yes, but why can't I build one? Like, wait, what? Why am I not allowed to build one, like... I mean... Wait, hold on. Game? Game? Alright, so... Ah, so yeah, you need to rotate it right. Cool there, man. Look at that. 
Oh, I'm I'm digging this man. Wall torches. Though I mean, if I if we zoom in a bit, it does look like well, you know, <laughs> it's just a stick burning <laughs> horizontally. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'm quite. I'm digging this. So we're gonna go with wall torches. Well, you know, not over here, of course, because well, you know, it's uh, better served with the torch in the center, but. Hey, oh man, this looks nice. It makes it all the more costly, like. Now, you might be wondering, like, what's this over here? But this is gonna be a balcony. It's not gonna be a big one, because we're gonna put fences over here, but... You know, I thought it would be nice to break up the whole thing, because I did realize that it did start to look like a massive cube. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna chisel in a few windows here and there as well, but I will have to wait till I got the whole structure set up, so I can, like... I know choose the right spots for them and such. But yeah, it's uh, going well, so you know what, we'll speed it up some more. Alright, Cyber, I think you have had enough time to finish up all these armor plates, and it seems like you have finished them. At least, well, I hope. Let's take a look now, right? Oh my god, <laughs> you still need to make one. Oh my god. Well, um, go and make that one. And, um, yeah. If he only needs to make one, then that's alright. And um, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna craft a few more weapons because, um, well, we need like uh, a hammerhead. And, uh, wait, hold on a second. This is like two hander. No, that's the regular hammer. Alright. So we're gonna craft a bronze hammerhead. Although I wonder if I would do this, would that screw up the whole armor plating? Ah, uh, screw it. He will make it eventually anyway. So. Yes, and we're also gonna craft a sword. Yes, and then oh crap, <laughs> maybe I should also make the blade. <laughs> it's kind of nice if you also have the blade for the sword, uh, but we'll make it out of bronze, obviously, and then we'll craft it also out of bronze. 
Yeah, all right. Good. So that should keep Cyber busy. And uh, man, has he been working hard. But what do you think of the new layout so far? So we're going to have one farmer in this room. And uh, another two over here. And then we're going to have our woodchopper boys up here. Because we only got two woodcutters. And they're more than able to keep up with uh, all the work. So, yeah. I think that's going to be quite nice. And they're also going to have their own balcony over here. So, yeah. Pretty luxurious all this, right? Um, but it's not finished yet. We also gotta, well, like, put a roof on the place and, uh, you know, build a few beds and stuff. So, we're not there yet, but we're getting close now. So, um, anyway, it's uh, looking all rather nicely. Now, if only Cyber would make that last freaking armor plate. Yeah, no, he's not doing it now anymore because he's making the weapons. Alright. Right? Yeah, he is. But we can change that around if, uh, you know, by upping that in the prio and then lowering this one in the prio. Yeah. So now we should finish off all the armor jobs, which, you know, I kind of find more important anyway, so. Wait, he's still doing this. Cyber. <laughs> Dude, Cyber, I just told you to do stuff over here. Ah, well, yeah, he'll get to it anyway, eventually anyway, so. Yeah, look at that. This should be the final armor plate. And then I'm gonna queue up, like, another set of gear. Good, we can do that now. Alright, anyway, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's make a bronze set so that, you know, the violence violators of Cobra are also properly geared and kitted out. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's build it. And done. So now we should get a lot of uh, gear made and uh, our military should be fully kitted out. But in the meantime, let's finish off uh, our very first building and make it nice. Oh man, I can't wait for this. And uh, I'm actually thinking of maybe putting a soil roof uh, on this, you know, a dirt roof so that we can put stuff on it like plants or maybe even chickens. Oh, well, that's a, that doesn't sound so bad, actually. Yeah, we're gonna have chickens on the roof. <laughs> I mean, well, if they fall down, they can at least fly. Uh, you know, they can at least fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See a bit like, you know, like some pigeon thingy that people got on their roof, right? We're gonna have the same over here as well. So we're gonna... Well, that does mean that we kind of need to buy emus and... Um, yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> the merchant's gone. No. <laughs> oh, well, that's uh, we. I mean, those emus can wait. Uh, we're not in a hurry for those. But first, let's finish this up.
Alright, so, it's the 12th day of fall now, and uh, winter is coming, as uh, they would say in a famous television show. But um, one thing that we have to take in mind is that we might get yet another nomad. So let's take a look at our kingdom's worth. Ooh, 60k. Yeah, chances are great that we're gonna get that. And this is not because, well, actually, <laughs> we did make a complete bronze set of gear, so that might be why it's so high. But this building over here, I mean, every thing is worth 10, you know, so every floor piece, every wall, it's all worth 10. So, yeah, this is a lot of worth. But I think it's starting to look great. I mean, another balcony over here, and, um,. Well, you know, we're gonna get have a dirt f a dirt roof, and um, well, you might be wondering like what I am building up over here, but I figure that because you know we got we're gonna have animals on top, we need grass over here. So what I'm gonna try and do is see if I can get some grass to like grow up this slope over here, and then you know, well, infest the whole roof with grass. I mean, yeah, we kind of need that for chickens, I believe. So. Um, yeah, that's the plan behind this, um, but for the rest, let's take a look at um, the violence violators of Cobra. Do they have a full set of bronze? And they do. At least, V, what, what are you wearing? Oh yes, it's looking all bronzy bronze. And you, Madame Hero Squire? Uh, bronze as well. Very good, well... Um, now then, in terms of uh, nomads, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get one. I don't think we're gonna get much more, but we're gonna get one. Ooh, and that's the first bed as well. So we can assign this quarter now, <laughs> even though it doesn't have doors. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make the quarter still, so that we have like our gnomes in here. Now we're gonna have uh, the farmers down over here, and the wood choppers, you know, they're, they're gonna have the nice view, the uh, <laughs> well, the higher worth uh, rooms, so. Yeah, so let's uh, let's designate their quarters. Let's see here. Come on, stop nagging. Personal quarters. Yeah, you're in the stockpile. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm not that cruel. So, let's see. Now, who are our farmers? I mean, I know that... Um, crap, <laughs> I kind of forgot who our farmers are. Uh, Cruza is, uh, I think, is our farmer and Mr. Fallout, but I'm not sure, but we'll have to find that out. For now, I'm gonna leave it vacant, and um, I'm just gonna enlarge it, so that's like one room. And we'll check out who our farmers are. I mean, we got Cruza, Mr. Fallout, and Rick. Alright, so this is gonna be for Rick. Oh man, <laughs> he's new in the block, and already he got himself the most luxurious quarters of all of us. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, look, dude, you got yourself your quarter now. Also, grass, please grow the F up here. I mean, <laughs> really, I kind of need it to yeah, go up. Uh, I don't know if it can grow up slopes, actually. I mean, I do see all kinds of grassy slopes over here, so I'm just assuming that it can grow up slopes, but... I haven't really tested any of that or anything, so, yeah, <laughs> there's that. Well, we'll have to see. I'm pretty positive about it, though. Um, ooh, and there's another bed over here. So, yeah, we're gonna have um, another quarter then. Let's see. Uh, personal quarters. Well, this is gonna be a bit finicky. Yeah. Alright, well, that's alright. So, this is for Kruza. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> he got two quarters now. Well, not for long. I mean, obviously, he's. We're only gonna have one quarter per gnome, so. Yeah, he is. Uh, well, it's gonna have to give up on his other quarter. Let's uh, let's see where that is actually. I mean, I think he has one of the quarters down here. There's Larry's, Infectums, Oscars, me, yeah, the most. Wow, oh man, look at it being sexy and luxurious. <laughs> Cybers, Sharktooth, and Nixus. So I think Kruza has one of the quarters down over here. It's Ronalds, Jacks. Madame Hero Squire, Zax. Wait, may, do you have one of the quarters in the compound then? Could that be? Now they're all for military use only. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> you got these. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean they, they're not even worth being quarters, <laughs> really. Yeah. So let's just 
undesignate this because uh, yeah, this is gonna be removed anyway soon. So, but now you got freaking nice indoor quarters over here, personal quarters with a balcony. I mean, if this isn't a move up, then I don't know, man. And uh, yeah, this is getting close to being finished, but um, looking very good so far. And uh, yeah, look at that, another bed. So let's uh, let's get. Wow, <laughs> wow, production's going pretty fast now. Yeah, these are like the finishing touches. And I know that we kind of need to add doors and all that stuff, but that can that will come later, you know. What, uh, for now, I just want to set it up properly. So we got like the rooms and zones and all that outside. So let's see, Mr. Fallout, your quarter is ready, ready for use. Yes. Wow, look at that! It's already the worth is already 350, and it's only going up. Because I also think that any adjacent wall, you know, will also add to the worth. So these walls here are adding double the worth. Let's take a look at what it's worth now. Yeah, look at that, 377. And this one's ah, it shouldn't be any different. What? <laughs> 510. Wait, well, that might be the bed though. But let's see this. Wow, it's just a birch four poster bed. Why is this room so crappy? While well, Mr. Fallout's room apparently is awesome. Um, game? <laughs> well, maybe this is a poor one. Worth 155. And this one? Yeah, 188. So this is like a masterfully crafted uh, bed. While well, this one's poorly crafted. I mean, that's the only reason why. <laughs> or at least the one I can think of. Now this is like the quarters for a wood choppers, so let's see who those were. Uh, let's see, carpenters, no they're not the carpenters, they, we got them their own jobs, yeah woodcutters. So it's Ronald Renier and Mr. Fat Piggin. Alright, well, um, Ronald Renier, you're gonna have a quarter now. Uh, let's see, designate this, personal quarters. Yeah, like this. I should do, yeah, no, th like this, and then, wow, 422 already, and he also got a quarter, and I think uh, we just checked it, and his quarter was down in the underground, like somewhere uh, over here, I think, now well, that's Larry's, I, I remember seeing it over here though, no, <laughs> okay, maybe I was wrong, uh, over here, Jacks, Zacks, Madame, yeah, look, that's it. So, <coughs> we'll remove, we'll make it vacant so somebody else can claim it. I mean, since Ronald already has a quarter, he should not go and claim another one. So, yeah. But it's looking pretty good so far, right? I mean, once the roof is done, and once the freaking grass actually grows up here, well, at least I'm not sure if it can do that, but. Maybe someone in the comments uh, can let me know. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, I'm building this for like not for no reason. That also might be well. If that's the case, what we could try and do. Let's see here. So the roof is at level. Uh, we could actually try and make some kind of land bridge over here, you know, and then have it grow from over there. But that's gonna be a uh, quite a precarious project. So I'm hoping it will just grow up. But, um, well, you know, so far so good. Um, it is winter now, so, yeah, let's see how many nomads we'll get while this is all being built. And, uh, yeah, you know, we also might want to make a move on this ramp here, this grass spreading thing. At least, well, <laughs> if it works, uh, that is. But yeah, you also kind of get to see the smart building now, you know, it works pretty well. You can just build stuff and they will do it. So yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. Um, oh, and by the way, we got Madame Hero Squire who needs you know, a different set of weapons now. So let's see here. You go, you are the major slice and dice. So what kind of uniform that I gave you? Major slice and dice? Let's see, you got the Terror Prime slice and dice, wow, <laughs> you got your own suit here. Alright, so, yeah, so you're using a claymore now, but that we're not gonna have that. You're gonna be wielding a sword, which you're well trained in by now, and a hammer. Alright. Uh, also, by the way, 
maybe your perks also need to be changed. So right now you got finish him. Target nearby fallen enemies. Is that like uh, some kind of dual wielding perk or aim or something on the swords? Increases... No. Increases attack speed, but decreases chance to defend. Um, you know what? We're gonna go with that. <laughs> it's gonna be the frenzy hero squire. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. Um, zero nomads have arrived. Well, wow. uh, that's kind of a shame, but I was kind of expecting it since last time we got them at 50k. Now we're only 10k up, and there is like this exponential curve that we that you have you know in terms of kingdoms worth and nomads relation so yeah but um, this is more or less finished only a minor few things to do over here uh, well you know what I mean since this is all done now wait oh you look at that they're already sleeping in it and this should make that they will well work on for like a whole season now. <laughs> well, I don't know how long they'll be able to work, but they should be able to work for quite a long time now without needing to sleep. So that's good. But uh, yeah, let's give Mr. Fat Pig and his own quarter too, right? I mean, he's been here for like the whole ride and um, he deserves one. So, Mr. Fat Pig, where are you in the list? Let's see here. Uh, Mr. Fat Pig, <laughs> where are you? Really? You're not in the list? Ah, oh, that can't be. Oh, he didn't even have a quad, so you were still using the dormitory. Well, it's about time that you got your own quarter then. Uh, wait. Mr. Fat Piggin? Yeah, Mr. Fat Piggin. Right, you were our other woodcutter. Maybe I got it all wrong now. <laughs> let's, let's see. Woodcutters... Yeah, no, I got it right. Good. Now we can also remove... And these quarters and done. Now obviously it isn't completely finished because we need to sit, set up this. But what I want to do next time is start muddying this area. And I got a plan for that. And well, you know, the building took a little bit longer than I expected it to do. But we're going to flood this room next time and use mechanics and all that. So uh, join me next time when we're going to use mechanics. Oh yeah.